Water plays a big role in the lifestyle of those on the Treasure Coast. I spend a ton of time in the water, especially this particular time of year, going into the fall when the bait fish migrate through here. When I saw this spot and how close I was to Mother Nature here, that was an easy sell. The Florida Department of Health in Martin County is now alerting the community about a case of flesh eating bacteria. The first reported this year. You'll be found in oysters on cooked seafood. And if you ingest it that way, you can have GI symptoms. Dr. Modi Ramgopal with HCA Florida Lawnwood Hospital tells me the bacteria can also be picked up swimming in warm brackish water like the inlet. When it's found in those areas and you have a cut or an, an open area, the bacteria can now get into that area. I learned it can be especially deadly to anyone who's immunocompromised, and those individuals should avoid the water altogether. It's a real issue for those who frequent the waters of the Indian River Lagoon. This is something that when the water's this hot in the river, it's 88, 90 degrees this time of year, when September heat, humidity, that you do have to at least be aware of. And it is concerning. It does go through my mind quite often. But for people like John Selzer, who just moved to the area, he tells me it's not something he's ever had to deal with. Concerns me a lot uh, here, obviously, because uh, everything is about health. The education here makes me consciously competent about it. Dr. Ramgo Powell says you should see a doctor right away if you notice symptoms of an infection. Redness, pain, tenderness, fever, and immediately you sign you have an open wound and these things happen, you should seek help. It's enough to keep locals alert while they enjoy the water. It's good to be aware of, and but you still want to be able to enjoy whatever quality of life that you came here for. Cassandra Garcia, WPTV News.